Good day everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about jacks and gauges today. As you can see here, this jack has got two gauges, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm showing you a very critical measurement, which is 15mm, and uh, must adhere to this measurement. After removing jack oil, reservoir and jack piston and ball, then measuring and centre popping using the measurements uh, I provide for you, if you're getting this type of jack, then I would set the jack base up as I show in this next little video. You will need a BSPT quarter inch tap uh, and fittings to match to fit these gauges so make sure you've got them on hand. Not trying to tell you how to suck eggs, but I would definitely drill one eighth um, drill bit in 55 mil as per the drawing I supplied first. Uh, of course, this allows for the other drill with 2764 to follow through. Thoroughly clean all ports, all drill holes of cast iron shavings and thoroughly blow it out. If you have to use alcohol of some description, put that, use that too. Uh, I can't stress this enough. I like to fill the jack bottle with hydraulic oil 
<coughs> with it lying on its side. The reason I do that is uh, I, I do believe that gets rid of a lot of the bubbles, air locks and all that in the system. Half the plug has been put back into the reservoir after it's been filled in a jack. Just stand it up for five minutes and then just lay it on its side again. And use a uh, screwdriver, just bleed the, any air off. After you have uh, cracked the air up, you can check the uh, piston out and uh, then let it down, then uh, do it again. So that way you'll uh, certainly make sure that there's no, you get a lot of the air out. The next part of this video is testing uh, the gauges, make sure that they are correct and what I've done is I've taken the gauge on the right hand side in the video coming up down to be tested for accuracy and it has extreme accuracy over a broad range of uh, pressure and dropping off to about 1.5 percent once it gets into the, the heavier weights but we never go there so you know it's very accurate so by using this gauge I test them against all the other gauges to see how it's working accurately and you see that I first test the gauge on the right hand side uh, to see how accurate that was and then once I had uh, this, this measurement, all I had to do is check the other jack gauges to make sure I got the same pressure to see how accurate it was. So i done that and a uh, video here of me doing that. So um, that's the next step to, to verify that all the jacks are exactly doing the same thing. With this jack's gauge I found there was a little bit of an inaccuracy so I took it away and um, I uh, let it off, I had a little bit of air in it would you believe and I put it back but I had changed it because uh, it was leaking a little bit beforehand I had put some tape around the thread to stop it from leaking and I did uh, do that so it must have still had some air in the system because that will give you a wrong reading so once I've done that, it's perfect.
On the next video, you will see what I do use these jacks for. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.